All right, so we just finished our check-in at the Grand Sharia Hotel. Uh, this is the luxury hotel in the middle of Awaji Island. Uh, many of the rooms are themed to an anime character. At first, we thought we were going to get Hello Kitty, but instead, we decided on the Kureon Shinchan room. I'm actually Kureon very Shinchan. happy. It's his room. It's my room. <laughs> it's my room, exactly. And here we are, guys. All the rooms here are like little cottages. This one is called Ora no Kokun, which means my cocoon. Ooh, nice and air conditioned. First thing you'll notice is that it's very, very woody. You got the slippers at the entrance. Oh, wow, this is incredible. What? Oh, oh wow. I know, this is. Oh, wow. This is kind of overwhelming. Oh. <laughs> wow. Everything is Kureo Shinchan. Everything is Kureo Shinchan. room. Oh, there's a welcome, there's a welcome letter to Tabi Eats. Welcome yeah. to the Grand Shario. Wow, and they have some seasonal fruits. They have grapes, banana, and a kiwi on a beautiful golden plate. And then the living room is actually very, very large. Everything is themed to Kureon Shinchan, guys. Everything. Everything. Look at the yeah. throw pillows. <laughs> the, 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 the toy. The toy, the, the plushie, the stickers on the windows. The characters are looking inside. Look, the ceiling. Oh wow, there's Kuryon Shinchan and his dog. And then there's a gigantic desk here, nice closet here. Oh, there's there are a couple of robes in here. Wow, I wonder what this is. Look at this. This is like a um, cosplay, cosplay or something. This is too small for me. You think it's too small for you? My head is very big. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's for kids. <laughs> maybe it's for kids. Okay, in here you have some PJs. Wow, oh like they're, they're like children's so pajamas cute. actually. And then you have some vegan cookies here. Mm. And you have a pack of smoked nuts. There's some glasses here because I heard that everything in this room is complimentary. Oh my God, it's... Kureon <laughs> Shinchan refrigerator. <laughs> wow. Well, first we have two bottles of water. Then there's two bottles of Naruto orange juice, like fresh juice. And then this is I Labune. Oh, this is Labune. Labune. I yes. Labune. And then you have two bottles of Awaji beer. Yay! Yay! Craft beer. And then Shima Lemon. Island Lemon. Oh. Um, not sure what this is. Probably alcohol, right? And then we have a glass of sparkling wine. Yes. Grand Chario. Sparkling yes. wine. So here we have some tea, coffee cups. We have glasses, lots of tea here. Wow. So this is special tea from Awaji Island. This tea is made right here. And then the Grand Shario organic coffee. Finally, you have coffee in the yes. hotel room. It's very important. Very for important me. for you, right? You know, many hotels here, you know, the moderately priced chains, uh, they usually only have green tea. It's a Kureyon Shinchan artwork. Bedroom. Look at the bed covers. Oh my god, so cute. It's, it's like, like a cow. cow. And yeah. the world art. Oh, I love that. This is our dream. It's our dream. We're gonna dream about having a picnic with dad and mom. I think there's a bunk bed. Yes! Look, 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 look at that. Here's the upper bunk with pig artwork. And if you sleep in the bottom bunk, <laughs> look, you can count sheep. And here is the restroom. Yes, very woody. Very wo it smells like wood too. Very modern toilet with bidet functions. You got a window up here. You got a sink and a really nice mirror. Here is a bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah, oh, wow. The aroma. It's like cedar. Yes, very nice. Oh, I love this sink right here. And this is the bath. The, wood the bathroom. Bath. Very Wooden nice. bath. Wooden bath. Very nice. And the ceiling is very high. The ceiling is very high here. Yeah. Let's check out the terrace. Someone. I know, I, I love how the characters are looking in. <laughs> oh, this feels good. A place to sit down. Oh, isn't nice. this nice? Yeah, you, you can have 
some beer here. The price of the accommodations does come with everything. So it comes with everything in your mini bar, the refrigerator, of course, tea, coffee, and you can have some uh, tea, coffee, herbal tea in the lounge. Uh, the price also includes breakfast as well as dinner. If you factor all those into the price, it's really not that bad. All right, guys, it's time for dinner. Dinner is served at the restaurant uh, right next to the check-in building. Really, really looking forward to the dinner. I hear that they use a lot of uh, local ingredients, including awaji onions. Awaji onions are very famous. So the first dish has arrived, and this is all encased in a something what we call monaka. It's filled with sakura masu, which is a local trout mixed with iburigakko from Akita, which is a smoked radish and cream cheese. Mm. 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 What? Like, as soon as my, my nose got really close, I could smell the smokiness of the trout. Wow, it's so good. And the cream cheese makes it creamy. It's like a super flavorful tuna salad. By the way, the menu is designed by Hel Yamashita. He is one of the most famous chefs here in Japan. Um, I've been to like one of his restaurants before. He's an amazing chef and he is the producer um, of this restaurant. So yeah, really looking forward to what else is going to be coming out? Next thing is a carpaccio using local snapper, local wakame dressing with local lemon. Mm, so good. This combination is, what shall I say, natural mariage. So I got all the ingredients in one bite right here. The fish, the onions, the local seaweed, everything. Oh. Mmm, mm, my goodness. This snapper is on the lean side, but it's tender, it's juicy, it's super flavorful. It goes so well with the other local ingredients and the local wakame seaweed dressing. Like gives it that nice extra brininess and just a tinge of saltiness. You guys know how much I love ceramics. This is ceramic. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this gradation here. Uh, I, I have to ask the waiter like who makes these. This is so nice, but anyway, uh, this is the third course. This is made with local sea water eel, mashed potatoes, and it's steamed in this uh, uh, heat resistant pack and it's flavored with, with truffles. The eel is so soft. I just cut it in half with my delicate chopsticks. The conger eel with the mashed potatoes, all local ingredients. Wow. I love the texture of the mashed potatoes and somehow it pairs perfectly with the delicate conger eel. The eel is so delicate, the truffle just brings it all together. But today's main dish is awaji beef tomato sukiyaki. There are lots of local vegetables and mushrooms. Of course, that's the bottom, there are many, many tomatoes. And on top, this beautiful marble local beef. It's named awaji beef. In addition, this is uni, seochu. I usually put in raw egg, but this one is not. It's like a warishita, the soy sauce based sauce, and egg. Mm. This egg is creamy. Gently coat this beef meat. Beef meat is very soft. They recommend us to eat this CO2, put on this beef meat like this and eat with this meat as combination. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because it's so good. <laughs> this is tomato nabe. Dipping sauce is made with soy sauce and sugar. So it's sweet, but tomato as a tanginess. This is a very good way to eat sukiyaki. This is the warabi mochi. It's topped with kinako. Kinako is ground up soybean. The soybean is from Tamba, located in Hyogo Prefecture. The texture of the warabi mochi is smoother, yet a little firmer than the one I'm used to eating. The wasambo is not very sweet. It's a very subtle sweetness. 
and then we have the seasonal lemon gelato. Mmm, mm. that is that is pretty tart. So you can tell they're using real lemon. Mmm, mm. refreshing. And they give you a cup of green tea to end the meal. The fabulous meal that we just had. This is one of the best meals I've had this year. No kidding. Okay, so we are back from dinner. That was amazing. I am absolutely satisfied. I am stuffed. I am a little bit tipsy and I am exhausted. All I can think of right now is take a bath and go to sleep. It's a time to get more tipsy. Oh, are you gonna drink more beer? Of course. Oh. So you want some sparkling wine? Yes. Cheers to Awaji Island. Ah, I So it was a wonderful day. So, everybody, good night. everybody good morning it is breakfast time breakfast is just as grand as dinner it's pretty amazing it's a traditional I shouldn't say traditional but it's like a Japanese breakfast it's deluxe Japanese breakfast I should say so there are nine different dishes inside this lacquer box once again we have a choice of brown or white local rice we have organic vegetable salad side of uh, Japanese pickles and umeboshi we also have a tamagoyaki but this is uh, based on the akashiyaki which is famous in this region there's octopus on the inside and it's served in this beautiful dashi broth this is fresh tofu made with uh, the fresh uh, soy milk we also have soy milk to drink and we have miso soup and Real fish. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. This is the soy milk. Oh, wow. It's sweet. It's pure soy milk. Yeah. yeah. Natural sweetness mm. of the soybean. So I'm starting out with the miso soup. Uh, today's miso soup is wakame seaweed. I also see maitake mushrooms and lots and lots of local awaji onions. Oh, that's comforting. That is comforting. You know, when I was a kid and I lived in Hawaii, and when my mother had time, she would make us breakfast, and she always had miso soup, and her favorite miso soup would be onions. So onion miso soup became one of my favorites. And I like to take a bite of the local brown rice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, very nice. Mm. Let's try the beautiful tamagaki. Look at that. You guys see the, the octopus on the inside? Mm -hmm. Wow. The octopus species are so tender, not chewy at all. Even though this is served in this beautiful dashi, the egg and the octopus has its own flavor. Oh, that's really nice. Well, this one's super interesting to me. These are figs. Wow. The fruitiness of the fig and you get the savory, nutty flavor of the sesame sauce. Oh, that's delicious. This is house-made onion dressing. So the onion is very famous for in this island. The onion is really, really tasty. It's crispy and sweet. Here is a freshly made tofu. They're using the same tonu, the soy milk, as the drink. Mm. It's very rich tofu. It has natural sweetness, same as the drink. So this one is grilled fish. It's snapper. It's a local snapper. Mm. Mm. Snapper, it's white fish. So it has a lean side, but this one is a good umami of the snapper. 
Everything that's served here is delicious. Presentation is spot on. I love that mostly it's sourced locally and they're seasonal as well, which is typical of Japanese cuisine. Everything from the organic vegetables to the homemade tofu to all the little tidbits, so, so good. This is like the perfect start to the day. I don't know what else you could ask for from a Japanese breakfast. I am so happy right now. We just checked out of the hotel and right now uh, we're just outside the hotel. There is an observatory where you can uh, check out the views from here. It's so beautiful. You can see the ocean, you can see the rice fields, you can see the bridge and you can even see Godzilla. Can you guys see Godzilla? I love Aodishima now. Me too. You know, before we came here, I, I had no idea what this island offered. Now we know. I mean, this is just a small part of the island. You can drive around the island. I, I guess there's public transportation on the island. I, the bus. The bus. There's a bus. Um, <clears throat> there are beautiful beaches, lots of uh, beachside cafes, restaurants, and so much more. And there's so much food here, yes. you know, because uh, there's mountain and there's the ocean. So they're famous for seafood, uh, produce, and even beef. We have to say a big, big thank you to the Pasona group for inviting us over so that we could show you guys all the fun things to do on this island. Our stay here at this hotel was luxurious. It was comfortable. It's a place I definitely want to come back again. Don't forget to check out our other video that we made on Awaji Island at Nijigen no Mori Park, the anime theme park. You guys really have to watch that because you will see Satoshi zip lining for the first time in his life. That is something to see. Like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious adventure. Bye bye. bye, -bye.